between Knox's four taiko drums, we have uh, buckets, overturned buckets that we're going to play with mallets. Kamate! This was just the second day, really, of Music 101, and we're still learning about musical fundamentals. First day we talked about melody, second day we're talking about rhythm. We could study the, these elements, these concepts in a sort of abstract way, get the dictionary definitions down, but that really doesn't make sense, especially with rhythm, because rhythm is the element of music that really engages your body. It's what, you know, moves your body and what engages you, makes you want to dance, possibly, one makes you want to tap your toes. Well, I believe that we understand things in different ways. We do understand things with our minds, and perhaps melody lends itself more to that kind of intellectual understanding. But rhythm is something that we understand through the way we feel, by moving our bodies, by engaging our hands and our whole, you know, our legs. We were marching around the room. We were um, tapping our chests, we were clapping, we were tapping on our laps. And you could see on their faces that they were just more engaged than they would have been if we were just talking about these concepts in an abstract way. But to talk about meter on paper is just one thing, and then to talk about meter when you're actually feeling the pattern of accenting strong and weak beats and then putting one meter together with a different meter the way they would do in West Africa and, fe and, and feeling, not just thinking about that feeling, how alive and um, vivacious that combination is. I think that's meaningful in a special way.